convert relevant words into, uh, into links. Please uh, give me some juice. Warm welcome for Kuzi Yamada. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Iku Yamada, founder and CTO of Brody, which is a tool that significantly enhances the smartphone and tablet browsing experience. Seven steps. Can any of you imagine what this number is? When you come across an interesting keyword while browsing, you might want to search and get further information on it. Although this is a very common operation, Current smartphones require seven tedious steps for the user. So first, I will demonstrate these steps for you. One, hold your finger on the screen. Two, accurately swipe your finger on the screen. Three, remove your finger from the screen. Four, copy the keyword to the quiz book. Five, open the search box. Six, Paste the keyword and carry out the search. And seven, select the appropriate link from the search results. Prony reduces these seven tedious steps to a single step. So let's see the demonstration. This is Prony running on under the Firefox. As you can see, Prony automatically extracts the interesting keywords and converts them into links. And by tapping the link, you can have Prony show the corresponding Wikipedia article. Prony also shows a toolbar consisting of related content. So you can instantly see the content by just tapping the corresponding buttons, such as Twitter, and also images. Internally, we have developed a highly accurate machine learning engine to predict whether the keyword interests users or not. This engine is outcome of the machine learning research conducted in Keio University in Japan. And we also filed a patent application for this engine. With regard to the business model, we plan to insert relevant ads and affiliates into the keyword page on the basis of keyword meaning, such as displaying Amazon for a book name or iTunes for an artist name. Please note that we have already tested this business model. We have collaborated with one of the largest affiliate providers in Japan and installed Prony on several affiliate websites. As a result, Prony successfully generates up to 25% of total revenue of these sites. Prony will be initially provided as an add-on of Android Firefox. Moreover, we will soon provide an API which enables to integrate Prony into other existing iOS and Android apps, such as web browsers, news readers, ebook readers, and so on. We are a highly experienced team in the Japanese IT market. I am a software programmer since junior high school and was previously a CTO of Factor Team, which was IPO in 2006. I also found Neuralink when I entered the university and sold the company to practice team. Yasuhiro is an experienced venture capitalist in the Japanese IT market. He has invested in several successful companies, including Fun Communications Inc., IPO'd in 2005, and Akumas 21 Inc., acquired in 2004, and AIP Inc., also acquired in 2005. Prony evolves the smartphone browsing experience into the next stage. So, if you want to try Prony, please sign up at prony.com. Thank you very much. Um. You're a seasoned entrepreneur. 
You built a couple of companies in the past, right? Yeah. Okay. So hasn't this been done before on web? Like I get hyperlinked stuff all the time, and it annoys um, the hell out of me. I, I, I see like text underline all the time, especially you see your own name and you click it and it goes to someone weird. But uh, hasn't this been done before for web browsing for a long time? Uh, yeah. Because um, I've been on. Sorry, I'm just asking because you obviously. You have a track record of entrepreneur. You know that I've seen this stuff for the last like three, four years. Um, our purpose is um, um, converting key all keywords yeah. that um, may interest users. Yeah. I mean, it's not for and products such kind of such like that is not existing in the past. Yeah. Um, similar product is existing, but. Um, it's kind of very small set of keywords. So what you're saying is that if I go on my blog, yeah. different words will be hyperlinked, and I can click them directly and go to another page, right? Yeah. And some of these you will monetize, right? So you will sell ads for some of that hyperlink stuff. Yeah. I think this has been done before, okay? But I'll double check. So my question is, um, who does the IP belong to? Does it belong to K University or does it belong to Fromi? Sorry. Where does the IP belong? Does it belong to KO or does it belong to Fromi? Our company. Our company. And um, how many users and how is the revenue example? I mean, if it's 25% of affiliates, I mean, what? how does that work? How does that they come to behind keyword searches go on the smartphone? So, you mean, um, how, how many users? Yeah, well, how does, I mean, how do you make money at the end of the day, and how much of it do you technically make in order to be able to? Um, we only provided that, that data information, so 25%. Right. But um, uh, we, are, we have installed from it into very, um, Large affiliate websites, so large amount of money will be its, its income. Um, I'm still not quite sure how your business model works because, yeah, I mean, there, there, is, there are existing business models based on certain keywords that are underlying. To usually to the annoyance of the user. So is there something different about your, your model? Can you explain um, how, how you make money out of it? Um, when, I, when, I, when the user clicks the keyword, um, we want to this ad and affiliate automatically display. Like um, um, music artist name or their CDs or so um, it's very difficult. And okay, but your user has to download your app and install it. Voluntarily. Yeah, um, we, we will provide an um, uh, add-on and also API, so um, um, other existing app vendors can install from it into applications. So we think we can um, gain a lot of users by API. This is a comment more than a question. Uh, as uh, Ash has said, you guys look like you are very experienced entrepreneurs. So I, I'm not sure why you are doing something that has been done for so long uh, as a plugin, or whether it's a plugin on an existing web browser or the iOS version and so on. But it's an existing product. Uh, you might want to reconsider doing this. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Leaving off on that positive note, let's move right along.